What do we have today is the brand new Dawa intercom VTH5341GW based on the Android OS, what in fact opens up a heap of possibilities for integration with um, many other devices and systems from other third-party manufacturers. And recently, by the way, we saw a similar solution provided by Hikvision, but the approaches of these guys are, well, different, yeah? And we'll talk about all this, of course, further in the video. Also, we have a brand new Dawa Outdoor Station BTO 2211GWP, which can also boast with some nice features, and specifically one killer feature, due to which it likely will become your next Dofo. My name is Daniel, your only channel of People System Store, where we've got for you a range of the industry's top video intercoms, alarm systems, cameras, and uh, much more. And we begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. By the way, it is necessary to make this particular devices to work in pair with each other exclusively. I mean, they're universal and standalone, and that the intercom uh, will work with other DER phones, that the DER phone will work with other intercoms. This is an overview of two new and different devices in one video, and then we're going to combine them and configure as an example, but only like the example. And now more detailed about edge devices and let's start with the uh, DOS station. So this is Dawa and Dawa out of the box allows us to use the DOS station in a standalone way without a monitor like straight into the phone. It's being activated in the same standard way in a PC via the web interface or via the Dawa's uh, PC software, the config tool or BDP config. And uh, it's finished. Then it goes right into the phone with all the functions and features and I'll show you everything further. And uh, the same way it's made in the monitor, the same standard way. And next, noteworthy features are onboard Wi Fi and PoE support, and what's awesome, on web support, making an easy integration with different kinds of systems from any other manufacturers. And also, profile C is specified in the supported profiles list, which means we can transfer the controls for access control and alarm events to other devices and clients as well. Dawa VTO2211 GWP is really light, well, for its size. 400 grams due to the case made of an alloy of polycarbonate and acrylic, which, by the way, has a great impact on temperature indicators. The DER phone does not overheat much, and the operating temperatures are from minus 30 to plus 60 Celsius. Now, the box includes a bracket for surface mounting, it's assumed to be installed only this way, the dowels and screws, installation instructions, communication and power wires, and a hexagon over here. The power supply unit is purchased separately or you give a twisted back cable coming from a POE switch or the injector right into here to supply both power and network at once. Yeah, I mean, we're able to do such thing here. Now let's go through the uh, body, build and elements. The microphone and the microphone here, speaker here for two-way audio. The megapixel 1080p camera with the ability to record at 25 frames per second. And this is how the recording itself looks in the original resolution without settings applied over it. Although it records in a good old 264th codec and motion detection is made at the software level only. But it's made well, I gotta say. It also has infrared LED somewhere around here for not vision, and uh, this is how your recording looks at night. Call button with the illumination around it, and uh, here, as you can see, is a MyFair <laughs> type access card reader on the rear. This panel, oh, there it is, removable, it's uh, like here, it's usually screwed on, I unscrewed it beforehand, and here you can see the rubber edging coming off, yeah, to ensure protection against dust and moisture according to IP65 protection level, the tamper button, and a slot for microSD card over here, under the cover, like, yeah, this one, one more, made with a better ceiling, like here you can see it too, RJ45 for twisted pack cable over here, with POE support, and the terminals. Power supply 12 volt on the left, 485th interface, electric lock in, alarm input and output, outgo and power, exit button, door status and door lock, intercom monitor, Dawa VTH5341GW. So, a really smooth design, dedicated slip button over here, Wi Fi on board, PoE support, 
uh, support for micro SD cards up to 256 gig capacity, and finally, a screen with just a remarkable responsiveness, and most importantly, the fact that the system is based on the Android OS and a specific software shell over it. Well, for implementing the functions of an Android tablet, both with the intercom monitor functionality at the same time at once. I mean, awesome. Which literally gives us an, an amazing possibilities for customization and making it work the way we want it. And most importantly, integration with many other systems from other manufacturers due to the Android OS basement. So how does it manifest itself? Here in the main screen and with these buttons on the bottom, we control the system itself, the I don't know, the alarm, operating modes, uh, the, these buttons to view the, uh, the phones and cameras, the call log and everything you normally have within every normal intercom. But in the next screen, this is where you meet exactly the Android, or rather the Android apps that I have installed, those that we always use and uh, this time for the demo. And in fact, this is how it manifests itself because the rest of features familiar and similar to intercoms has been here and remained, including snapshots and taking videos activated by the motion and receiving onto the monitor from the Dauphin. By the way, let's quickly glance through the body features and then move on to applications and settings. 10 inches, nice final nice responsiveness, microphone here and a speaker here for to the audio, dedicated sleep button here on the side, there we go, micro, micro USB on the back, Micro SD card input here with maximum capacity supported in 256 gigabytes. RJ45 for twisted pack cable with POE support just like this. And eight uh, terminals here. 12 volt power in, 485th interface. And on the right, there's 12 volt power out dedicated. And the rest is for the alarm sensors over here. Or you can get here a doorbell instead of one alarm zone. Now concerning the Android, that is applications. Uh, hold up. Ajax, Hype Connect, IMO, GDMSS, DMSS, and in reality, many others. I mean, you're gonna uh, leave the apartment, you come to the intercom near the door, enter an Ajax app, and arm your alarm system with an exit delay. And uh, so on. The list continues, and this is the essence hold up, <laughs> of the solution. You got everything in one place. Let me enter just a few apps here uh, to, to just show you that everything works, and like as if you were. Uh, entering these apps from your phone. Like, let me just get into my uh, High Connect app. Yeah. So, isn't it <laughs> funny? How do you think having a, a High Connect uh, phone app installed in Idahua monitor, right? <laughs> I think it's awesome. All right, well, again, it locked out for some reason. And as you can tell, the same interface, the same devices, let me show you get off the my personal email address my personal email address the same username this is how it goes and we're finishing on activation and configuration personally i give the uh network and power to the devices over a single twisted pack cable coming from a POE switch i mean yeah it's quite convenient and what i will do first uh, i'm gonna bring the phone straight into the app on the phone without uh an intercom in the chain and still get the full functionality all right so uh, let me show you how that's done first you need the computer of course just to activate the DOS station so here we are hello there all right you gotta go to its web interface or you can use uh Dahua tools it's uh, surveillance let's go here config tool smart pss toolbox vdp config this app you can use to scan your network and find Dahua devices in it so first, yeah, locate uh, those stations IP address, or it could be even uh, prescripted in your um, instruction to the device, to the manual. There is always a default IP address. So, all right, mine is 110 in the end. So again, then it goes the activation. So it's really easy here. Just create the password, come up with the password, a digit, first is a big one. And here we are, the uh, standard username is admin password the one that I created so yeah you create a password and here you are and eventually you'll get to like the same screen like I have here right now in front of me all right now to make it work with a phone with without uh, the monitor involved I'm going to local settings now here what you gotta do group call 
turn it off, uncheck it first, and then uh, turn on all the notifications here when confirm. Uh, then we're gonna reboot, and after it does, we go to the system. And it's really important here to select a correct time zone and a system time. So you select your time zone and simply see the time, save, and you're good. That's it. It's actually all you have to do to get it into your phone. Though, there is a second part. So, after you've done it, oh, on your door station, what you gotta do next is, let me, let me unlock it, let me, uh -huh. and let me get into the uh, IDMSS Plus Dahua app get into here and here you can see uh, yeah then you gotta go into home and press add device of course plus then you go scan its QR code so is it there or it could be hold up it could be even uh it could be here oh yeah on the network yeah it could or you can scan it from here or the product box or the back of the uh, this plate yeah then you uh, input the password that you've created during the activation of the door station and here you are you will get to this start life you can open the door, door can uh, call hello the end of the call and there you go yeah you got it uh by the way delay is quite a little which is very nice and the last thing you gotta do to make the call happen to make the call go to your phone you gotta go into message uh lucky this bell icon and turn on the alarm subscription and there you go so after i log the phone here's how it's gonna look well, yeah, I got them connected, but it doesn't matter right now. So you get a notification, you unlock your phone, and here you go. The video, right away, you can answer. Hey there, hello, open the door. The end of the call. Yeah, now here we are. Now, the second part is about, uh, well, linking these two devices and each other. So, well, except, except you get a computer, you go, yeah get to this screen there you go to network now we need to turn on the SIP server to which the uh, intercom monitor will connect uh, and the server should be created on the door station so SIP server what you do here we're gonna create the SIP server right on it so oh hold up SIP server so untick this one and paste the address of the door station itself in over here now, you don't touch this, you don't touch this, not the password. You can select whatever you want is the uh, SIP server password. Uh, for me, it's one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. Next, you don't touch this one, you don't touch this one. And server password is that password uh, from your door station, access to your admin settings, and the one that you have created during the device uh, initial startup and activation. Then you tick again, it's important, trust me. Save, and it's gonna reboot, and you're done here. Oh, although you can uh, turn on the Wi-Fi, of course, here. But we're done with the PC, so now we need the monitor, intercom monitor settings. Now, what's peculiar, what's interesting here, the uh, initial activation and setup happening on the monitor itself. Again, you come up with the password, uh, you get there the email address, the recovery one, and here you go. Now, we need to access the admin settings, and this is a long press on this button. Long, all right, yeah, we got it. Now, the password we've created during the activation stage on the monitor, it's gonna be different from that one. Okay, there we go. Now, there's a fault that happening all the time, I don't know why, but here on the room number, 9901 it's now but but it could be other number it could add some symbols in the end i don't know like zero eight whatever and it have to be four digits like it looks like this then press ok and you're good next as ip server so here of course you input the ip address of the door station you remember it's 110 for me don't touch this one don't touch this one the password the password from the sip server which is one two three four five six that we have created just like i don't know a minute ago domain yeah it's kind of called a vdp but we don't need it so we didn't touch it I mean, why would we if it works okay login name admin you didn't touch it here too and the login password the one that you have created for your door station and put it here next what is important status turn it off then turn it on and press ok then make it again and ok and after that 
wait a few, I don't know, minute two, and you'll get the monitor connected to your station. It will get all the settings, it'll be connected, it will get even time and date and all it needs to. And you'll get these all notifications good. And video config. Uh, it will automatically uh, find the DOS station uh, within the network. Uh, and all, all you have to do is press on it, press password, input the password from it and press status. And this will lead to that you can go here and watch it anytime from here. And the door, the door call, yeah. And uh, there you have it. Then the SAP server can launch and you're done. And we're just great. So eventually you get, you get these calls here. Call goes here and we're good. There we go. It's clear why it is so awesome. The door station uh, is really light with a physical call button, with access control by cards, Wi-Fi, and most importantly, the fact, the fact that it is standalone and operates without the intercom, which is a highly demanded feature now. A complete autonomy. And what you will like about the monitor is that namely, due to its openness in the form of Android OS basement, which can be customized for yourself the way you want, and due to this, it can be integrated with systems of uh, many other manufacturers, big freedom and independence, <laughs> if I can say so. And in our People System Store, we've got all parts that you might need for a security system, including these, the phones, intercoms, cameras, video recorders, and many else. And thank you for watching.